She's a little tight. Well, it looks like our degenerate crew has shown up. <laughs> big, big amount of trucks and trailers now rolling into uh, the parking lot, which is cool. There's Danny's buddy Carl. He's going to be ripping on the XC850 today. <clears throat> Where's the oil on this one, Mike? What's that? Where's the oil on that one? It is, should be on left side. Okay, well, we're just waiting for Danny to get his act together. He's a little slow this morning. We got Jesse's buddy Joshy. Say what's up, Josh. What's up, guys? How are you? We got uh, no Jesse today. Obviously, he's studying, but we got his best friend, so we're good. Well, hopefully, we can get rolling here in a little bit. Holy jeez. We're going to be last to leave, of course. All right, well... We're uh, almost there. There's Joshy on uh, Jesse's Renegade. Danny's getting his VR together. We got Carl over here, and we got Doron over there on my dad's old Articat. Pretty cool to see that. I'm excited for this ride today. Fine. She's a little tight. All right, you're all hooked up. Okay, all set? Good? Good? Good thing you said 8.30. What's that? Good thing you said 8.30. Right. <laughs> you need gas? Okay, I'll take you. take these guys to get some fuel and make sure they're all set and then we'll get started on this tour it's great to be back in Barry hopping on the B103C basically learned how to ride sleds here we're growing up so I always love coming back to Barry just reminds me of my childhood and it's just really good riding here I love riding here they've got Lots of uh, different options for trail running here. You're getting fields, you're getting the Simcoe County forests, which are beautiful. You can get up towards Midland Penetang, which is probably where we're going today, towards Midland, and have a bite to eat. So yeah, it's good. We've got uh, Danny, Jesse's dad with me, who uh, we haven't been out yet together this year, and he's honestly like a, like a second dad to me. So I'm excited to, uh, to hang out with him for the day he's an absolute riot as i'm sure you guys have seen in some of our videos really great to see all the trails basically in southern ontario are really starting to open up now and the whole ofsc system is uh coming to life on the interactive trail guide which is amazing to see hats off to all the volunteers out there that uh make it all happen for us so that we have a wicked riding experience got a little bit of snow overnight too so should be an awesome day for riding today all right so we are just on uh, our way leaving Midhurst the boys just gassed up the sleds and unfortunately I'm sad I'm still uh, having an issue with the same same issue I was having yesterday with my sled and it's this uh, it's throwing this code for TPS sensor, which is unfortunate. So basically just means I'm going to have to take it easy today. I can't go full blast on it because otherwise it just conks out. Probably a sensor, maybe just needing to be replaced. So we'll see what happens. Some trucks and trailers here across the road. It's another parking spot in Barry, just on 26 here. And where's my crew? Everybody good? Okay. Really nice uh, 
nice amount of snow. It looks like even came just overnight. So, unfortunately, I think the trails, just because it's been such a crappy start to the winter this year, I don't think they're going to be much uh, base underneath here, unfortunately, for trails to set up. But, like I said, the clubs are obviously doing what they can, making the most of it. So... This is another good spot to park here, Simcoe County building on the left. Sometimes I'll park there because the clubhouse definitely gets rammed. You can see more guys rolling in there. Oh man, it's so good to be back riding Barry. Paul, if you're watching this video, thank you man. Paul Yukon's our buddy and he's uh, running grooming operations up here with the Snow Voyagers Club and man they just do a fantastic job like look at this perfect trail absolutely mint back to the trails where I learned how to ride a sled me and my dad used to come here with a uh, 1990 safari and we'd run around two up. He would just uh, have me on the front and we'd just basically be cruising all the trails around here. Certainly didn't put on the kilometers like we do nowadays just because the sleds are so much more innovative and refined and uh, you know capable to put those kind of miles on. I'm sure lots of guys did back in the day, but you know we were just starting out at the time. So we would just come up, bomb around for the day and then go home. That 1990 Safari was hilarious. He got it. It was that blue color. I was so excited, man, when that thing came home, when he showed up with it. It was like a blue color, and it had uh, no snow flap on it. I think he got it for 900 bucks. Fun forever. And through our Simcoe County forests, which are awesome. Love riding through here. I'm expecting to see probably a bunch of traffic today. I imagine everybody will be out here bombing around. Although it was super cold this morning. I think when I left uh, my brother-in-law's place, it was like, I think it was like minus 24 maybe. So it was pretty cold. So maybe some people just opted to come out for the afternoon run. We'll just have to see. Trails are always usually good in the morning and then they get beat pretty quickly. So your afternoon ride home can sometimes be painful. <laughs> Hopefully the rail line up is uh, pretty good today. The sea trail should be hitting it shortly and hopefully make for a nice quick ride up into, uh, into Midland. I think a bunch of the trails around Penetang are actually closed still too. Not sure what's going on. Again, really tough to say. Just don't know if they've had the snow up there or if it's uh, grooming or whatnot. So we'll see what happens. This is the uh, big intersection here. So hopefully the rail line's good to go. Absolutely perfection. Amazing. Usually police sitting at this uh, intersection, probably on the way back, they're always here, just making sure everybody's obeying the rules. There's a gas station also down uh, that way, two clicks, so we're gonna make our way uh, up towards Midland. And again, it's really cool. I mean, I was talking a little bit about this yesterday too. It's just incredible, the network, and you can just basically go anywhere. Just awesome how how well connected our trail systems are here in Ontario. Coming up here, basically, it's going to split off and go to uh, with Sega Beach, Collingwood area, which I've been out that way many times. You get to uh, New Lowell and Creamore that way as well. So basically, from what I understand, I think they've called this the Simcoe County Loop. And you could actually do a couple of them, but this one basically goes up and wraps around uh, the Midland Penetang area, and then you come back down the other side, which is probably what we'll end up doing today. 
we'll see how these guys how much riding they want to do but uh, i mean the rail line's perfect right now so my whole thing is like if it's good stay on it so we're just coming into phelpston here and we'll continue up i think it's the 416 we might branch off we'll see i'm going to take a look at the app in a little bit and just make sure everything we're on or planning to go to is actually open a couple guys coming this way here I don't love running the straights I'll be honest I get sort of bored after a bit I much prefer kind of riding through the trees a little bit of technical turning stuff like that but that's again the good thing with Barry is you can really mix it up they've got uh, such an awesome variety for riding up here that uh, you can basically do it all you get a bit of everything which is nice all right well we're just coming through tiny Wyville and making our way up to I'm gonna take the sea trail all the way into Midland and then loop back down and around on the 309 I think is uh, the plan I just made the trails have actually been really good it's good snow up here they've actually got quite a bit of snow and that's pretty typical too of Midland. Midland Penitent area always seems to get slammed with snow. Should be perfect. We should be rolling in just for lunch, which would be great. Because I have not eaten anything. <laughs> Seen lots of sledders out now, obviously. So this rail trail is going to be definitely jammed today. Look at them all coming. It's unbelievable. and tons and tons of riders out just enjoying the day look at them all probably one of the busiest areas for sure but I think basically all southern Ontario is going to be absolutely rocking this weekend with snowmobilers everybody's super excited that trails are all open now so I'm expecting it to be busy pretty much everywhere Oh, they must be way back there. There he is, Danny boy. All right, so now you're seeing the sleds galore. Everyone's coming out for a ride. But again, the good news is like it just spreads out the traffic right around Ontario. So what you've had over the last couple of weeks is just a lot of concentration of snowmobilers in certain areas where there's been snow and grooming. So those areas have typically been really busy. Cochrane for one, Bancroft another one. Oh, cannot see anything here. Holy cow. Wow. That's crazy. That was cool. All right, so we're gonna hang right here and cut down the sea trail and start making our way towards uh, Midland.
not having a great time. I got to be honest, guys. This problem with this 850 is really starting to aggravate me. I feel like it's getting worse. So I think this uh, throttle position sensor issue just needs to be probably replaced. I mean, they did a reset and clearly it hasn't fixed the issue. So I'm just going to call the dealer as soon as we get a stop here and see if uh, TVM can order me a, a new throttle position sensor for this week. Hopefully get it all fixed up and then test it out again next weekend. Really just want to make sure before my uh, upcoming big trips that they're, you know, this sled's going to be good to go. It's not fun to ride when you can't uh, really get on it. So basically as soon as you go all the way to the bar, it just cuts off. And then you have no power and it goes basically into limp mode. And check engine light goes on. So you have to pull your key, basically let it reset and then you can go but you can only run it at like uh you know you can run it quick but you just can't put it to the bar it's weird really weird nothing i've ever seen before i don't think tvm has seen anything yet so listen i guess that's what you get when you're trying new stuff who knows things happen electrical gremlins are definitely something i've chased in the past and i don't I don't like dealing with electrical stuff. Okay, well, we finished a uh, nice lunch at the boathouse, and now we're just uh, getting some fuel here at Racetrack. Gonna get back on the trail and make our way back down towards Barrie again. Not sure where the rest of the crew went. Looks like I lost Danny and Joshy. I don't know where they went. We got Doran behind me. We got our buddy Carl here. Where's Danny? Did we lose him? Oh, f they're back there. Okay, so we had our first incident of the day, which, uh, you know, again, I think you guys see in a lot of our videos, there's always kinds of shenanigans going on. Anyway, we left the boathouse and four of us went right and uh, old Daniel decided to go left, so he went the wrong way. Always kinds of shenanigans going on. We had no idea where he was. Uh, basically, we got gas and uh, eventually came back to the boathouse because I figured maybe he just hadn't left or he'd gone back there. But sure enough, he actually went the wrong way and then he went about five minutes down the trail. So anyway, long story short, we ended up uh, finding him and we've got him again. So the crew is back together and we're uh, back on the trail again. So funny. How you doing? Good, you? Pretty good. Well Thanks. Quick, uh, easy stop there with the guys. We'll just wait till everybody gets through. Everybody being pretty respectful, which is good. Everybody uh, basically gave us the heads up that the uh, the police were up here, and again, they're just sort of checking in, making sure everybody's got their permits and licensing stickers and registration and all that, which is great. It's exactly what you want. Don't want any BS out here on the trail, so it's all good. Just ran into my buddy Nav out here, enjoying the trails as well. We're just uh, coming down the 415 now and making our way towards the B Trail. And we're going to head that uh, back down into towards uh, Midhurst. There are the guys. All right, well, we're just coming back into Midhurst right now. Had a great, uh, great day. It's about I don't know, 3.40ish, so we're back a little earlier. Some of the guys are tired, chills. We're getting a little bit beat towards uh, kind of the end of the day here, but all in all, a good day's riding. I think the guys had a lot of fun. Just making our way here on uh, Snow Valley Road, just over to the uh, Snow Voyagers Clubhouse where we began our tour. Great day overall. Unfortunately, these uh, issues with this uh, 850 
didn't let me ride as hard as I wanted to today, but it is what it is. I'm still at riding and it ain't too broken, so. Well, hopefully we'll get my 850 into TBM this week. Put a new uh, TPS sensor in it and away we go. I'm hoping that solves the issue. Don't see why I wouldn't. Yeah, coming back down into the clubhouse. Awesome to be back here up in Barrie. Had a great time today. Now I did bring the BCX too. I might go out for just another hour or so. Well, these guys are packing up and put a couple of more miles on the BCX tube. see if I can find Paul from the Snow Voyagers uh, Club. He's out here grooming the 400 series trails, I believe, so we'll see. Maybe I'll go find him. Oh, that's a busy parking lot. Where are these guys? It was a slow cruise today, for sure. There's Carl on Jesse's 850. Oh yeah, I probably should have stopped there. What'd you think? That was freaking awesome. Good tour? Yeah, man. That was great. I like that. How Dan the man like it? <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Nice ride. Dan the man, how do we do? Did you have a good time? I always have a good time, buddy. Good. I'm out with my friends. <laughs> it's always a good time. Nothing beats it, right? Except <laughs> when you do 30 kilometers an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to uh, bring out the BCX to play for a bit. I'm going to take out my BCX for a bit. All the backcountry? Yeah. I got to get some miles on it, so. so you're going to keep riding? Yeah. I'm gonna go find Paul and the groomer. What? Have you been talking to him? Yeah. How long are you gonna ride for? Probably a couple hours. Well, just met up with uh, our buddy Paul Yukon. He's the man. Runs uh, the Snow Voyagers Club. So you can see the boys are just fixing one of the areas here in uh, in the ditch. And they got the piston bully out here and they're just grooming up some trails for us nicely. There goes the boys. And off they go, making some beautiful trail up here in Barrie on their way into Horseshoe. Awesome. If you like that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel, where we release content on everything snowmobiling. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.